Hi. In B2B, electronic direct mail or EDM is a great tactic for people who visited your site, discovered a great asset, downloaded it. Great job for EDM to then nurture that prospect because what you really want isn't to give them that asset, that ebook perhaps. What you really want is to get a meeting. And I'll show you how to do that with EDM now. If somebody visits your site, reads about an asset, downloads it, and in the process of getting to download it, gives you their details, it's safe to assume they're interested. Because of that, everything changes. We need to use the EDM to earn the meeting. So ask for that meeting seven times. The thank you page shells a meeting then send the lead bait and offer a meeting, then introduce yourself and offer a meeting, then reinforce a key point from the lead bait and offer a meeting, then send a surprise additional asset and offer a meeting, and then just offer a meeting, and finally leak with intent. So there you're seven times. Let me now just unpack those a little. All right, well, the first of those is the thank you page, and it might have come as a surprise. It's quite normal to imagine that having given you my details, I go to a thank you page, I'm probably expecting to see the asset at that point. But it's not in the least bit offensive that instead of that, you say, hey, thank you so much for giving us your details. The asset is on its way. But by the way, do you actually want to talk about this now? That's not in the least bit offensive. It's your first chance to ask for the meeting. When we send that email that we promised, clearly it needs to include the asset. So include it as an attachment, preferably not as a download, make it nice and easy for them. We're not trying to be too cute. Send them the asset and ask for a meeting. That's the second ask. A little while later, after that first email that included the lead bait, give them a chance to read it but we don't really need them to have read it just yet. So that second email, maybe it's going to be a day later, perhaps two days later, introduce yourself. So, hey, thanks again for downloading the such and such report. Hope you're really enjoying it. By the way, let me tell you a bit about myself and the company that I work with. Keep it short, but it's about introducing yourself and hinting at the value that you're able to deliver. It's not a hard pitch, but you do want to conclude with, and by the way, do you want to have a chat about that? Here's an easy link to my calendar anytime you want to have a conversation about that. That's the third ask. In the next email, make some kind of reference to, the, to a really critical point in the asset itself. So maybe there's a particular chapter or a particular section that you think is quite powerful. Make some reference to that. So hey, hope you're enjoying the name, the asset, the ebook, whatever you've called it. Take a look in particular at chapter three. I really think that that sums up the essence of what we're trying to get at. Hope you're enjoying it. Oh, and by the way, if you want to have a chat about this stuff, here's a link to my calendar. Let's talk anytime. We're asking again and again and again, but it's contextually relevant to the conversation and it's not a hard sell. Our next email might have waited for a little while longer, maybe it's two or three days this time. Wait a little while, send them the next email and say, hey, look, I really hope that you have enjoyed that asset. By the way, I've got another little something for you that you might enjoy. Give them then some kind of surprise additional piece of value. Unasked for, but relevant to them. Hey, and by the way, if you want to have a conversation, I'd really love to meet with you. Here's a link to my calendar. We're asking again and again and again. It's not a hard sell, but we're allowed to be frequent if we're relevant. At some point, we need to reach an end to this conversation with them via email. So the almost final email is going to say, hey, sent you some things. I really hope they were relevant. I learned a lot when we put them together. I hope you did also. By the way, would you like to meet? And then the final piece is simply, I'm going to stop bothering you. This perhaps isn't important for you right now. 
but it will be at some point. And when it is, I'd love to have a conversation. But for now, I'm gonna get out of your hair. I'm gonna stop bothering you. But what I'll do is, because you're obviously interested in this topic, from time to time, I'm gonna send you key insights that we've gleaned from other companies who are doing the same kind of things that you're trying to do. Hope you enjoy them. What we've really done with that final email is to stand down so that we don't become annoying. And when we stand down, we're explaining to them that they're still gonna hear from us, but it's gonna be less frequent. Maybe it's once a month. That's a fairly normal frequency in B2B. But we're telling them that we're gonna stand down. So let me summarize the seven opportunities that we have to ask for a meeting. The first is on the thank you page. The second offers the lead bait, but we ask politely for a meeting. The third touch is the second email, and that is introducing yourself and asking for a meeting. Reinforce a key point and ask for a meeting. Send a surprise additional asset and ask for a meeting. Finally, just a barefaced, simple request I really would like to meet with you. And then finally, stand down, stand down with a bit of dignity. We call that leak with intent. But explain to them that you're going to put them into the nurture program. So there you have the seven tips for using electronic direct mail for a trigger campaign related to an asset or lead bait. Clearly, EDM trigger sequences and the related asset are only a couple of tactics. You need tactics end to end. How are you going to find the names? How are you going to position with them? How are you going to create demand? How are you going to condition what they think they need? How are you going to put an offer on the table, persuade them that it's the most uh, appropriate offer to take advantage of, and close? All of those tactics need to be agreed between sales, marketing, and often even finance and ops. And that's the job of a funnel plan. Now, if you have a funnel plan, you know what I'm talking about. The tactic section is the bottom of your funnel plan, the top section being strategy and the middle being velocity. If you don't have a funnel plan, go get one. Go to funnelplan.com, or if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click on the little I symbol. Go to funnelplan.com and get yourself a funnel plan. I hope you got value out of that second. This is a four part series. This is the second one. All of these are on electronic direct mail. The first one was on Nurture. This is on Trigger Campaigns. I've got two more lined up for you over the next couple of weeks. Until then, may your funnel be full and always flowing. Our thanks this week to you for watching this week's show, to Lisbeth Pena for blog production, John Ang for video production. My name's Hugh McFarlane, and it's been my absolute pleasure to have scripted and presented this week's show.